everyone. Um, my name is Kelly Braun and I am the Director of High School Counseling and University Guidance here at SSIS. Today we're here to talk about the university advising process uh, and how SSIS is different um, than other schools you might have come across. So um, I want to introduce my colleague, uh, Mr. Sam Jung. Yes, hi everybody. Um, my name is Sam Jung. I'm one of the university counselors here at SSIS. Um, and I just want to sort of uh, reverse, uh, introduce you to um, Kelly and sort of tell you about her wealth of experience that she brings to SSIS. So Kelly has 13 years of experience in university counseling and university admissions. And prior to uh, joining SSIS in the fall of 2018, um, she was the university uh, director of university counseling at the International School of the Sacred Heart in Tokyo, Japan. And she has also been um, in two institutions in the United States serving as an admissions officer. Um, and Kelly is, um, is, is a really well-respected name in our professional field. And I feel really lucky to be working with her every day. It's such a privilege. Thanks, Mr. Jung. Um, this is Sam Jung. He is an amazing colleague and a university counselor. This is his uh, sixth year in admissions and as well as university counseling and coming from a background in reading files and doing admissions work at Dartmouth University as well as university uh, counseling at UWC. So between the two of us we come with a lot of experience and we love working with students. So the question you might be asking is what do university counselors do and what does that look like? And so when students get into the high school one of the goals, um, as stated by our mission statement, is that we are a college preparatory school. And so we are here to help students in an individualized way to support their post-secondary goals, which is usually college um, or university. We send students all around the world, and Mr. Zhang and I are here to support students in wherever they might want to go and whatever they might want to pursue. We have students who pursue the arts, who pursue music, engineering, uh, medicine, you name it, we have students who pursue it. So our job is to help students understand the university process for them to make the best applications possible and to get acceptances to those places where they are the best fit. Uh, we are very proud that we have a 100% placement rate for those students who choose to apply to university. And if the students go through the SSIS curriculum and what we and how we support them, um, they are very successful in their senior year. So that's what university counselors do in a nutshell. We help with students and their university aspirations from asking the question of who are you to actually writing that down in applications and helping them navigate application systems anywhere in the world. And this year, our students have applied to 14 different countries. So we are here to support them in any way, shape and form that we can and help them be successful after high school. Pass it over to Sam. Yeah. So parents, I don't know um, whether you remember or are familiar with these terminologies, but these are the components that make up a university application. And now, depending on which country your child is applying to, they may need to complete some or all of these components. And I think for our students who often matriculate to more than a dozen countries, um, which you'll see a couple of slides later with the breakdowns of where our graduates end up. Um, yeah, thinking about universities for our students, especially the seniors who submit an application is yeah, an exciting and maybe a little bit scary, um, time consuming, but exciting process, uh, sort of a monumental process in their lives. And I think the SSIS approach or the SSIS difference uh, when it comes to university counseling is that we begin with the question, who are you? Um, and I think this is a philosophy that I'm really proud of um, in our office because we start with this question from the get-go, uh, starting 
all the way down to your freshman year, grade nine. Um, and I think we agree on this, you know, asking the students, who are you? Um, because we think there is an opportunity to, for students to be thinking about these big questions. Um, you know, it's, it's applying to universities or um, intentionally reflecting is quite unlike um, memorizing a math equation or learning about a science principle. Um, it's really thinking critically about the moments in your past 17, 18 years of life that have shaped you into who you are as a, in terms of molding your academic interests, uh, molding your values, molding your passion for extracurricular activities or community service, et cetera. And I think it's a really personalized experience applying to universities. No student is the same and no application is reviewed um, in the same light. Every student has their own story and their own context. And we really believe in that. And I think in all of our conversation with students, um, we are amazed to see you know, all of the stories um, that come through our doors and our offices. Um, and it is a personalized experience for each one of our graduates at SSIS. Um, and of course, our main objective is to get to know the student, um, to be their cheerleaders and coaches and champions, um, and to lead them to the schools that are best fit for them. Um, and that's also when our experience and expertise as people who have been working in this field, both as counselors and on the other side of the desk, as people who reviewed applications at one point, really comes in. Um, and I think this will be a practice that we continue to do so, um, ask the questions deliberately, um, starting their grade nine, who are you? And this is something that continues all the way until senior year, um, until we wrap up the university process. And when we wrap up the university process, we are always so excited to celebrate with our students. Uh, these students show that they can answer the question, who am I? And where do I wanna go? And what are my dreams and aspirations? SSIS prepares students very well academically as well as extracurricularly for all applications across the world. And so really what we're doing is digging deeper into who that student is. And we can see that we, that we have success by our matriculations, which means that students showed up on that campus the following uh, fall of their, or the spring of their year after they've graduated. So the majority of our students do end up in the United States. So we send 52% of our students to the United States. Um, we send uh, a lot of students to Europe, as well as a lot of students staying in Asia. So whatever your student may want to do, or wherever you hope your student might end up, uh, that is a possibility. So we obviously provide high quality uh, education here that gives all of the application components that Mr. Jung talked about, um, but we take it a step farther and we help students with knowing who they are as well as being really successful academically in the classroom. These are just a few of the matriculations that our students have earned uh, for the class of 2021. We are in the midst of this with our grade, with our class of 2022. We are expecting an equally uh, amazing list from our students with equally amazing diversity. So you see some big names on there. You see art schools, you see engineering schools, schools in Korea, schools in Hong Kong, Australia, the United States, all over the world. and amazing acceptances and this what this represents is really that students have figured out and have been able to articulate who they are and they have found the best university and the best fit university for them so we are really always excited to celebrate with our students that they have found the best fit university um, and that they end up there in the fall or the spring of their of the year after they graduate. And our graduates come back and say that they were very well prepared, they were ready for those university classes, and that they really enjoyed and appreciated their time at SSIS and how well it prepared them to get into these schools that are on this list. So just quickly at a glance, we help students and we support students from grade eight through grade 12. Um, we 
support students in choosing their courses, understanding the pathways, what might be the best options for them. We value academic excellence at our school and making sure that students are able to define that for who they are. In grade 11, we really start the university process by working with each student individually and having meetings with the whole class as well as individual students and small groups of students. Each year in high school, we have a parent presentation for that particular grade level and how to prepare students to be ultimately successful in the university process. In grade 12, we start right away in August and we start sending all of our applications um, in October and November. So uh, we work with students from semester two of their uh, junior year, which is grade 11, into all the way through senior year, I just had a student in my office this morning asking for documents for their South Korean application. So we're really excited to support all students who come through the door and all the students who come to SSIS as we know that they are excellent students and they have, they're very driven and have big dreams. So that's what we love about our job. And with that, are there any questions? Ms. Brown, so uh, as an admissions officer, I got asked about the difference between IBDP and AP course. So that is the most common questions from our sure. active parents. Could you uh, explain the AP and IBDP program, please? Sure. So at the end of the day, they're both academic programs that we offer here at our school. And so the IB diploma program is one educational philosophy and the AP courses are another educational philosophy. We pair our AP courses with SSIS courses and we start talking about those pathways from grade nine. So the difference in those for the university process is not a lot. Uh, students are asked to take the most challenging course load that they can while still maintaining their academic success in the classroom. And success is defined by each individual student. We really prioritize the individuality of students. And so we understand that there are many options for them and that we wanna support that with offering both the IB diploma as well as AP courses and SSIS courses. IB diploma courses are two years long. They, uh, you choose six different courses uh, in six different groups, and then you also do an extended essay, uh, CAS, and the CAS, which is Creative Action and Service, um, and Theory of Knowledge. And so that's an entire program that you commit to in grade 11. The AP courses we offer from grade nine through grade 12, and students choose those starting from um, grade nine and can choose one course in grade nine for AP, one course in grade 10, three in grade 11, and four in grade 12. Uh, and then those are paired with SSIS courses. For the curriculum that we offer in grade nine and 10, it's pretty prescriptive as we expect everybody to have the same foundational knowledge. And then the decision to do IB diploma program or to continue to do AP courses is comes in grade 11. So for the admission, university admissions, we don't really see a difference in those. What we see is how challenging a course load a student has taken while also being academically successful. And if students can uh, describe what success means for them. So we offer amazing opportunities at, at SSIS for any student who walks through our door. We have incredible uh, maker space. We have um, the diploma program where you learn about and asking big questions and theory of knowledge. Uh, we have um, a strong history program, English, you name it, and we really have amazing teachers to support it. So the difference between IB and AP is educational philosophy. And we start with that process and understanding what those two things mean starting in grade nine to numerous parent presentations and documentation that there's available to read. Thank you. Uh, it seems our students have a 
the chances to learn who they are, and then they can find out the, what program can best fit for them. Yes, thank you. Exactly. So we start the conversation of best fit from grade nine because students need to figure out what is the best courses for them to take in that year. And then we continue to build on that. We also ask students to fill out four year plans every year to make sure that they're still on track to do what is best for them. And then they come to us in grade 11. Thank you. We still have a one minute, 20 seconds remaining. Uh, the, our prospective parents, do you have any questions? Before wrapping up, uh, Mr. Zhang and Mr. Brown, do you want to add the last tip for the best uh, university preparation? <laughs> I think what I love about this school is that it it supports an advisory as well as in day to day that every year you have the opportunity to learn about who you are and yourself while being really successful in the university process in grade 12. We have time in the curriculum to support the university process, which is very different than other schools. And we have a well-resourced office uh, with really experienced counselors. And so I really enjoy working here. Um, it's my fourth year and have a great colleague in Mr. Jung. And we all are here to support students and we're very student-centered. Mr. Zhang, do you want to add uh, anything? Sure. Yeah, I think I am really impressed by um, how the SSIS students that I have worked with, um, sort of across grade levels, um, how thoughtful and mature they are when they approach the university process. Um, and I think they do treat it seriously and treat it as a learning opportunity um, sort of a more internal digging of the self per se. Um, but um, yeah, it's, 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 it's my favorite part of my job, just getting to know my students um, in my office, just having one-on-one -on -one conversations um, to see them bloom as intellectuals um, and young adults. And I feel really fortunate. Uh, thank you, Mr. Zhang, and thank you, Ms. Brown.